Lord. There is a room. Welcome back to Third Phase of Moon. My name is Blake Cousins and we're Skyping live with Mahmood and his family in regards to UFOs. July has been a busy month right here at Third Phase of Moon and it has just begun and we're going to be speaking with Mahmood from Detroit, Michigan. What he captured on his cell phone, what looks to us like a massive triangle formation in the night sky. And not only one video came in. I think Mahmood, little Mahmood right there, had captured the same event on this at the same night on another cell phone. We're gonna go over this amazing footage right now in Third Phase of Moon. Welcome Mahmood and family to Third Phase. Thank you very much. Mahmood, can you tell us straight away what you were doing 4th of July, fireworks were going off and all of a sudden some something happened. Tell us what went down that night in Michigan. Actually, every year we celebrate the um, 4th of July. I was just trying to capture some like you know, watching the sky, the fireworks everywhere. It's nice out there. And like suddenly we just saw, I saw object that like triangle with the three lights was different than the other lights in the go. sky. You should see this. Because it's like stable, it's like still there all the time. The three lights is like a red lights. I was like, that's something strange. I should capture that. And I just like called everybody, they start saying, oh, that's a UFO. I was like, oh yeah. I run. Oh, be careful. It's white, why is it turning red? It turns red, look at the light. That's not an airplane. Yeah, yeah. That's not so that's strange. Is that an no, it's maybe this for, for 4th of July, they make the lights red. Lights red? Wow, you know, that is quite an incredible capture. And it's really clear that it is not a firework. It seems to be a ship in the sky hovering there. Let me ask you, was it silent? Did it make any noise whatsoever? Actually, because you feel it here, because the fireworks everywhere. The fireworks are so loud, yeah. everything here. Right, right. So it was like, there is no, we can't tell there's noise um, up there, but it's like hovering. You know, it's like, it's like for like, it was like there for 10 minutes. Wow, let, me get, let me get some of the kids' reaction and what they thought, and if they ever seen a UFO for themselves. This is a pretty amazing moment when you actually see a UFO for the first time. People could go through their whole lives and not see one, and you, you almost gotta consider yourself lucky seeing it and capturing it with a steady hand. I have to say, good job, guys. Tell me, kids, what do you think when you're looking at this massive ship in the sky? Uh, my first thought that it was a UFO right away. Down there, I'm not sure if you guys can see it because because it's because it is really dark. But holy crap! Holy crap! And there goes more. There's more. There's more UFOs. So was it your first UFO sighting and uh, what were you kind of, were you scared? Were, what were you thinking? Yeah, um, I was thinking like, like a bunch of aliens were like, going to come to Earth and like invade and all that stuff and I, yeah. And I couldn't sleep at night because of that. It was sleepy. Okay, so, so which one of you boys were the ones that captured this second angle that we're looking at right now? Actually, great job. Quite quite uh, amazing you followed the number five step rule you you kept the camera steady you got foreground and you know you sent it to third phase of moon absolutely fantastic now tell me uh Mahmood, what were you thinking were you kind of concerned what was going on because it seemed quite large this uh ship in the sky it's i feel like it's, you know what well, was like a surprise for me to be honest with you but the fact is like that's something unusual and it's not like something like you usually see in the sky. We just saw it and we just captured that movie and we got that triangle. So like a mothership. And I didn't say it's your fault, but everybody, the kid, they say, that's your fault. I was like, yes. So it's like a surprise. It's beautiful up there. You know, it's amazing. 
at the same time, it's like, it's not, you're not, not going to see it every day. So we captured that movie to let everybody see the fact that there's something up there. There's more UFOs. Like, I don't know, what the hell? There's like a bunch of blinking lights. I don't know if this is a damn Tell invasion or something, but what the hell? Tell me you are. There's like a billion you UFOs. I don't know what Tell the hell this is. There's like blinking lights. They're like colorful blinking lights. What the hell is this? Incredible. Mahmoud, let me ask you, how did you come across Third Phase of the Moon? I know it's a couple days since the 4th of July, but we try and get the videos out to the world. It's a good thing, you know, that you came to us because after this, I think hundreds of thousands of people will see this amazing event captured with multi cameras, you know, eyewitnesses on the ground. It just doesn't get much better than this, Mahmoud. Actually, it's like, um, you know, I used to watch a lot of stuff like about, I'm very interested about UFOs. I've been watching UFOs like, I've been like, watching like, you know, uh, sci-fi movies, you know, since I was a kid. And it's like two years ago, I've been watching UFO stuff like that. I've been watching Third Phase of Moon. I saw a lot of movies. I was like, if I capture the movie, I'm gonna get that movie to third, third Phase of Moon. So because it's like, um, you know, it's gonna be one of the great movies up there. I absolutely agree, Mahmoud. Let me, uh, your son behind you, he keeps picking uh, out from here. I wanna get his uh, testimony of what he thought of uh, the massive triangle above the night sky. Let's uh, get him on the, right here, third phase. Yusuf, the little guy. Okay, come here. All right, Yusuf, get over here, Yusuf. Tell me, Yusuf, what did you think? This video is gonna go viral. The whole world's gonna see it. What? Tell the people around the world of what you think and what you were experiencing at the time of this event. Scary. So he was oh, first time in your life you saw you. Oh. So basically, Mahmoud, I really want to thank you for sharing this incredible footage right here at Third Phase of Moon exclusively for the first time to the world. We're gonna get the word out. Any last words for the viewers listening from around the world? What well, I believe like anything you can see like just Send it to the world. Let everybody see what you have. Don't hide it. Don't feel shy. Take advantage of camera. Take advantage of your camera. Don't feel shy. And because some people, they're going to say, you know what? That's just a light in the sky or just a balloon or whatever. Like a weather balloon. Some people are going to say whatever. They're going to say, but if you believe something, just like, you know, send it out there. Send it to the third phase of the moon. You know what? Let people see it on YouTube because don't hide this just for yourself because you're going to keep asking yourself, I have something special. I want to, I want everybody to see that because it's really something amazing. Well, Mahmoud, you've actually captured something quite incredible, two different camera angles filmed at the same time. Like I said, it doesn't get better than that. And like Mahmoud said, use the video cameras that you have in your in your uh, possession film these unusual objects in the sky and post it on youtube and share it with us at third phase of moon so the whole world could see it again mahmoud and family i really want to thank you for joining us right here at third phase of moon thank you very much thank you anytime man all right guys and if anybody's captured anything amazing like mahmoud and the family send it to third phase of moon via skype or facebook my name is blake cousins and we'll see you again next time yeah. See it? Look how it's moving. Mustafa, you should see this. Come, come. Yeah, run. Oh, be careful. It's white. Why is it turning red? It turns red. Look at the light. That's not it. <laughs> so that's strange. No, it's maybe this for 4th for of July. They make the lights red. Lights red? Down there. I'm not sure if you 
surprised to see it because because it's because it was really dark. But holy crap! Holy crap! There goes more. There's more. There's more UFOs. Like I don't know what the hell. There's like a bunch of green. I don't know, I don't know what, this is just terrible.